Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans, and today I want to show you around this Transit 148 Extra Long that we just wrapped up. Before we step inside, I'll talk about some of the exterior features of this vehicle. Um, so all the way up top, we have an Illuminous Touring Style roof rack. We have Illuminous crossbars and a Thule rocket box. We also have a manual Fiamma F45 awning. We have some LED lights here on the side, and you'll see even more once we go around to the rear of the vehicle. And then we also have flare space on both sides with half slide windows, and we'll check out the custom trim as we step inside. Let's check out the rear. On the rear of the vehicle here, you can see that we have an Illuminous cargo back box, an Illuminous backpack storage system with the vertical one-up bike trays mounted to it. We have two LED lights up top for easy loading and unloading at night. And then we have a few more features on the driver's side, so let's go around there. Lastly, on the driver's side of the vehicle, we have our Illuminous ladder to get up to that Illuminous um, roof rack, and then we also have our short power hookup port. Let's step inside. Welcome inside. Before we go into the specific features of the vehicle, I'll just talk about some of the design highlights as well as the overall layout. So starting on the floor, we have a French oak wide plank flooring. Moving our way up from there, we have a white painted five panel door cabinetry. So that's going to be for our lowers as well as our uppers. We have birch butcher block countertops. All of our panels, so our wall panels, are going to be upholstered in Duramax gray mix. And then all the way up top, our ceiling is going to be pine tongue and groove with a clear coat finish. When it comes to layout, we have an additional riding unit here, which will also function as a dinette unit if you swivel the, both the captain's chairs around. We have our toilet stored here. We have our main galley area here. And then we have an additional bench seat and fixed bed in the rear. Um, awesome thing about this fixed or this bench seat is that we can actually open it up, fold it out, and it turns into a secondary sleeping area. So I'll show that to you shortly. I'm going to start my way in the front and we'll work our way back. Starting in the front of the vehicle, we have this 18 inch JMG captain's chair. So these are really nice because they have the three point retractable seat belt. They're a super comfortable riding option for additional passengers. And then we also have a secondary lagoon mount for our table so that it can be um, set up at this chair. Moving over to the driver's side of the vehicle, this is where our galley area is going to begin, but we also have our concealed toilet. So when you open up this cabinet here, we have our Dometic Sanipati toilet, and it is on 500 pound locking drawer slides so that it can just be concealed away and kept out of, sal out of sight, out of mind. Moving into the galley area, we have a nice drawer here, and that's going to store the legs for our dinette area in the rear once we turn it into a bed. Uh, as I mentioned, we have butcher block countertops throughout the entire galley area. We have a custom butcher block insert that's going to match those countertops in our sink. Uh, when it comes to cooking, we have the Impava 2 burner induction cooktop. Underneath that, we have a 4.6 cubic foot isotherm fridge with a freezer up in the left hand corner. Moving beyond that, we have a 21 by 20 Rivati workstation sink. Underneath that, we'll have a seven gallon gray water tank as well as some more additional storage. We have uppers down the whole length of this driver's side galley area. All of these are going to be assisted with gas struts and have RV latches to ensure that everything stays nice and secure while in transit. And then all the way in the rear here, we have another nice storage option with a little utensils drawer and a nice cubby area beneath that. As I mentioned, this lovely dinette is gonna turn into our secondary sleeping area. So first things first, we can take a look at it when it's in dinette mode. If you pull these towards you, you have some nice storage underneath. And I will go ahead and turn this into a bed so you can see what that looks like. So you just screw the legs in and then it's a tri-fold system. So it'll just fold all the way out like so. And then you have a nice area to sleep two additional passengers there. All the way in the rear of the van, we have our fixed bed so that you're going to sleep widthwise in this vehicle. We have the trim rings upholstered so that it matches the rest of the paneling. Um, and then you also have those half slides on both sides of the bed. But on the head of the bed, you're going to have the reading lights so that you can have some different lighting zones in this vehicle. Other lighting zones that we have are our above cabinet lights. We have our under cabinet lights, and then we have our dimmable overhead LED lights. 
When it comes to ventilation in this van, as I mentioned, we have those half slides in the rear. We have a CR Lawrence T-Vent window in the galley area. We have a fixed pane on the passenger side. And then over the galley area, we have a max air fan in the front. And then we have our Dometic Penguin 2 AEC unit in the rear. So that's going to keep this rig nice and cool in the summer. And then we have a Rixon hydronic heat and hot water system that's going to keep this rig nice and warm in the winters and pull hot air to the, or pull hot water to the sink as well as the exterior shower. Let's step around back and check out the rear. In the rear of the van, you can see that we have a ton of storage underneath our fixed bed up top. Starting on the driver's side, we have our water cabinet. So in here we have a 20 gallon fresh water tank. This is where we're gonna house our Rixon hydronic heat and hot water system. Um, and we'll also have the water pump in there. Also on this side, we have our exterior shower. So this will be a hot water shower pulling from that Rixon heat and hot water. Moving over to the driver's side, we have our power cabinet. So in here you can find 600 amp hours of lithium battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter and we'll also have 200 watts of solar coming in from up top. In the center here, we have a gear tray. So this is gonna be on locking gears or drawer slides so that can come out, you can load it up. We have l track on both sides so this can be a really versatile storage option. You also see all the way at the back of this garage, we have a little cutout that can be removed during ski season so that we can fit nice long powder skis back here. Lastly, you'll notice that everything back here is coated in black hex ply, so that's gonna ensure that it's gonna be really nice and rugged, durable, stand up to all the gear that they end up throwing back here. We also have an additional lighting zone so that you can load and unload at night. That wraps up this van. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster Vans. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.